Safety in the drilling industry has improved significantly in the last 50 years. However, blowouts like this still pose a major risk to the safety of rig workers. While new drilling techniques offer an increase in efficiency, they can still present unexpected challenges. We are the MEC 4552 Origin Drill Pipe Torpedo Team. And we have been asked by a representative of Origin Energy in association with Savannah Energy Services to design a system to block off a drill pipe to prevent blow off. The team consists of myself, Cameron Blair, Shabam Deshwell, and Aditya Shetty. Our drill pipe torpedo is a single use autonomous vehicle which has been designed for the delivery of a one way check valve to the bottom hole assembly of a coil tubing rig. To fully understand the purpose of the proposed drill pipe torpedo, one must first have a basic understanding of the drilling procedure associated with coil tubing drilling and the causes and risks involved with blowouts. Coiled tubing drilling involves the use of a continuous length of flexible drill pipe which is lowered at a steady rate into the well. Wells are generally drilled in a number of sections of decreasing diameter and are reinforced using a steel casing and cement. For our project, we'll be focusing on wells that are drilled to a maximum depth of around 800 metres. The drill string features a drill bit and positive displacement motor which is referred to as the mud motor. During the drilling process, drilling fluid, or mud, is pumped down the well through the pipe. The purpose of this drilling fluid is to power the mud motor, lubricate the drill bit and carry all the cuttings back up the well through the annulus. In addition, the drilling fluid also applies hydrostatic pressure at the base of the well. During normal drilling operation, high pressure reservoirs which exceed this hydrostatic pressure are sometimes encountered, causing a formation kick to occur. This results in a flow of formation fluid into the well bore forcing fluids back up the drill pipe and annulus at high pressures. Large kick ejects fluids from the well through the annulus and can even result in a rupture of drill pipe. This event is commonly referred to as a blowout and poses a serious risk to employees and equipment. The current solution in place to deal with blowouts is the use of blowout preventers (BOPs). The BOP consists of a pair of opposing ramps which close around a drill pipe, sealing off the annulus. While some of the BOPs are capable of shearing the drill pipe altogether due to power and weight limitations, these are not feasible for their use on coil rigs and as such the torpedo will provide the perfect solution to sealing off the drill pipe in the event of a kick. Our goal is to produce detailed plans for a torpedo that can deliver a valve to a seat within a drill pipe supported by accurate modelling and detailed analysis. If the project is feasible, a prototype will be built and tested through Origin Energy and Savannah Energy Services. In order to meet the client's specific objectives, the design must be able to travel a minimum distance of 1000 metres through a drill pipe with an internal diameter of 76.2 millimetres. This will also include navigating a curve of 2.74 metres minimum diameter and travelling a maximum of 800 metres below the earth's surface to the check valve seat. It must resist external pressure of 3000 psi and resist pump through of 0.5 barrels per minute or 0.0013 meters cubed per second without failure. The power source must be adequate to provide the propulsion system with the energy required to reach the seat and deliver sufficient force to lock the valve if required. For the project, a work breakdown structure was developed for the allocation of tasks and to demonstrate individual contributions. My name is Reed. And as team manager, I will be responsible for team organization and ensuring that tasks are being completed thoroughly and efficiently. This will be achieved by ensuring milestones set out in a Gantt chart are reached, which will be updated as necessary. I will also be the main line of communication between the team and the client through email and meetings when necessary. As a mechanical and aerospace engineering student, I am also responsible for the propulsion and fluid dynamics element of the project. This will involve the evaluation and selection or design of a duct propeller capable of pushing the torpedo to its destination. I will also estimate the drag on the torpedo as it travels through the pipe. I will be working closely with Shibom to ensure that the power is adequate and with Cameron to estimate drag from external structure by analyzing fluid dynamics and applying CFD if possible. I am Shibom Deshwal and I am responsible for assigning an agenda for each team meeting and taking minutes. This is to ensure that constant progress is occurring to achieve the set deliverables and milestones. This process involves the primary discussions of matter which need to be analyzed during each team meeting in our class sessions and results in more productive team meetings. The 
The technical area which I will primarily investigate will be power generation. This will involve an analysis of a suitable DC power source or battery which will power the propeller for the duration of the operation. The major concern so far was to find one which was powerful enough for the task but small enough for the design. I will also be responsible for the control system and the initial launch mechanism. My name is Aditya Shetty and I will be responsible for putting the internal structure of the drill pipe torpedo, which is basically reinforcing the structure to withstand extreme hydrostatic pressures. This will be analyzed using uh, finite element design packages to simulate the forces caused by external pressure. In collaboration with my fellow colleague Cameron Blair, I will be ensuring that the internal and the external structures are compatible. Additionally, I will be researching and evaluating the check valve to be seated in the drill pipe, ensuring that it meets the specifications requested by the client. My responsibilities also involve communicating with valve suppliers to purchase the right valve and analyze the fluid flow. My name is Cameron Blair, and like Reed mentioned earlier, I will be responsible for the external structure of our proposed drill pipe torpedo. This will involve the mechanisms in which the torpedo will utilize to navigate around the curves of the spool and gooseneck. I'll be responsible for developing these mechanisms by researching existing technologies and adapting them to fit our design specific requirements. In addition, once all internal components have been finalized, I'll be responsible for determining the final dimensions of the torpedo. I'll be working with Adisha to ensure that the internal structure is compatible with the external structure through the use of FEA, and I'll also be working with Reed to determine the external structure's behavior during and ability to survive pump through conditions through the analysis of fluid dynamics. Blowouts pose a serious risk in the drilling industry. The project will bring together fluid dynamics, structural analysis, research, power and control to produce the detailed plans for a torpedo that can deliver a valve to a seat within the drill pipe to prevent blowouts. A working prototype will be built if the design is deemed feasible by Origin Energy and Savannah Energy Services. In summary, it must travel a minimum of 1,000 meters through the drill pipe to a coil rig 76.2 millimeters in diameter, resist 3,000 psi, and pump through of 0.0013 meters cube per second. We believe this product is a novel solution to a unique and serious problem.